Right, it's that time of the week again for the lettings chat with Neil and Mace. And uh, so what are we going to discuss this week, Mace? Um, we're going to discuss the importance of having regular rent reviews. Um, it's been a topic that has come up quite frequently um, since being back in the new year. Yeah, it's a great subject actually to talk about with everything that's going on um, sort of in the financial climate and everything like that at the minute. So why is it important then? What, what, do, what do clients need to know about why it's important to regularly um, review their rents? So rent reviews allow you to have that extra bit of wiggle room, if you like. Um, we're getting a few clients at the moment come to us mid-tenancy saying, oh, can I increase the rent? My mortgage is coming up for renewal. The rates are rising. Mm -hmm. It's not worth me having the investment anymore. Um, and a lot of these clients, the same clients that we've, we've said, you know, let's have a rent review and said, oh no, I don't want to increase the rent. You know, I don't want to be greedy on my tenants. I know it's a hard time for everyone at the moment. But ultimately, you're not being a greedy landlord. You're just doing what's right for you and minimalising your risk by having these rent reviews. Mm -hmm. And it isn't anything major. You're not going to be putting your rent up by hundreds of pounds each month. It's small increments sort of 25 to 50 pounds a month and you're just keeping your investment, you know, you're just maximising your potential. Yeah, definitely. And it's an interesting point um, that you make, because, you know, the sort of public perception of landlords often is that um, they are greedy and they are um, just out to make money, etc. But as you said, we do have a lot of clients who will, um, you know, quite often not want to increase the rent because they've got a long-term tenant and everything like that. But actually for me, um, you've almost got to at least be putting inflationary increases in on the rents because um, otherwise one, well, number one, landlord's costs are going up. As mm -hmm. we've seen, mortgage rates are going up. Um, you know, everything is going up. Energy bills, businesses, stuff like that. So money that landlords are getting charged is going up. So their costs are on the rise just as much as any tenant living in a property. Um, but also, but also what can happen is the tenant sort of like gets almost priced out of the market if you don't um, if you don't sort of do these inflationary increases over the years. And we have seen that before where um, tenants haven't had an increase on their rent for um, you know two, three, four years. Um, and then all of a sudden, you know, the, the landlord has to because it's not financially viable for them anymore to keep the rent so low. Um, and then it's actually unaffordable for the tenant because it's such a large increase at that time so i think you're definitely right um you know they need to be getting increased um sort of gradually at least to keep everything in line with the market at least um and you know what we are finding is when tenants go to look um you know if they say i don't want to pay an increase generally we find they look at the market and and then realize oh actually this they're is getting quite a pretty good deal yeah, yeah. They want it, you they don't yeah. want to stay put yeah definitely i think remortgaging is a massive opportunity for landlords as well um, at the minute with what's happened with rates. I mean, personally, I said to you, you know, my buy to let, um, you know, I advise people on this, but then I didn't take the action myself. And um, so now I'm remortgaging it. But what, what did happen was it went on to a variable rate. Obviously all the rates started to increase. Um, I was on a funny old mortgage, which followed something called the LIBOR rate, which doesn't even exist anymore. So then it got changed to a different rate. Um, but the point is the whole, um, my rental amount that I'm getting for the flat didn't in the end actually cover the mortgage payment. So by remortgaging it, I'm now sorting that out, getting a better mortgage deal. Um, so I think reviewing finance is key at the minute, isn't mm -hmm. it? Especially to do that on a regular basis, like once a year, every yeah. 12 months when your tenancy's up for renewal. Yeah, definitely. So I think our key message is always review the rent because um, yeah, money isn't staying the same at the minute. Things do need to be reviewed and do need to be increased, and and gradual increases are better than um, hitting people in one go mm -hmm. with a with a sort of a large increase in one go. Absolutely. Yeah. So uh, that's our chat for this week. Um, hope that's been helpful. And if you need any advice on anything to do with lettings or investment property, then uh, give me or Mason a shout. <laughs>